Hi guys, I'm Maddie. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and today I'm going to share a thrift haul with you guys. This is from three different thrift stores. My average cost of goods was around $5, and I am located in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, all of my closet information is linked down below. Now, with that said, all of these things are not posted yet. I actually have not photographed a single thing from this all, but hopefully by the time that you guys are seeing this, it will be posted. So if you are interested in anything, let me know that you're from YouTube, and I will give you a fantastic deal. So let's go ahead and start with the things that I'm sending to the Real Real. If you guys do not know, the Real Real is an online consignment store. You just send them your things, and then they give you a payout once the item sells. So these are the things that I'm sending to the real real. So starting with a pair of pants. This is Lafayette 148. I love to send this brand to the real real. And it's just a pair of black trouser pants. They will probably only sell on the real real site for about $50 at the most, which means that my payout will be around $16. Um, the trick to the real real is just getting things at a very low cost of good and then you're going to come out on top regardless pretty much. The next brand I'm sending in is Karen Millen. And this is a really cute little spring dress. I think that this will sell very quickly. I've never sent them this brand before but I'm going to guess that they're going to price it at about $50 to $75. Next brand is one that I send in quite often. It is David Meister. They normally price his things at about $50 to start, sometimes a little bit higher, like $65. But a very nice wardrobe staple. I love the ruching on that dress. This next piece, I've never sent them this brand before, but this is Helmet Lang. Just a nice little sweater. And the last piece that I'm going to send to the real real is a men's piece, and this is Etro. And it's just a nice dress shirt. So the real real should accept all of these things, considering there aren't any visible flaws that I see. But the great thing about the real real is that if they don't accept your item, they do mail it back to you for free, unlike that. All right, let's move on to the shoes from this haul. So the first pair of shoes that I have here is a pair of Brooks running shoes. If you guys do not have a pair of Brooks running shoes and you're an active person, you need to get yourself a pair. These are seriously the most comfortable shoes. I'm a runner. I run in Brooks. They are just my favorite. I got my boyfriend a pair of Brooks finally. He's a power lifter and he just wears them like to train in. And he was like, oh my goodness, these are the most comfortable shoes ever. I cannot believe that it took me this long to get a pair because I had been trying to convince him to get a pair for a while, but he was kind of dissuaded by the, um, I think they're like $130 brand new, but I was like, it's worth every penny. These are a size women's eight. They're in excellent condition. The tread is really nice on them. Um, when it comes to running shoes, you're going to want to check the thread pretty thoroughly. Um, a lot of the times people ask how many miles have been run in the shoe. And considering these are second hand, I obviously wouldn't know. So I just refer to how the tread looks and I take very detailed pictures of the tread. That way you're giving them an honest depiction. The next pair of shoes is a pair of Crocs. They are just some rubber flats. They have the little chain detail. These will probably sell for about $15 to $25. These are a woman's size 10. Our next pair of shoes is a pair of Uggs. And this is the Kulabura. Labra. I'm not really sure how to say that. This is the cheaper line of Uggs, but they are really cute with the bow detail. Um, I am going to have to clean them up a little bit. As you guys can see, there is some wear, but these are still in pretty great shape. These are a woman's size 9. So very cute. I'm not 100% sure what to expect on those because they are the lower end line. And as you guys know, we're in summer right now, but I do post things all year round. Then we have a pair of this kind of olive green color Lucky Brand booties. These are any size 7. They have the double zipper on each side. 
These typically sell for about $25. I'll start them a little bit higher. But I've noticed that unless they are brand new, 25 is kind of that magic number. Then we have a pair of Jack Rogers. They're like a dark red and orange color. They are not in the best shape, but I've had Jack Rogers sell in work shape really quickly. They normally sell anywhere from $15 to $25. And they normally go really quickly. I believe these are women's size 8. The thing about Jack Rogers is the size is normally worn off, um, but I just measure it right here. If you guys can see, it says W8. So even if there is not a size, what I always do is I just measure it, and then I will look at a size chart, or maybe I'll try it on myself and kind of talk about how it fits in comparison to me, and I haven't had any problems with it. And our last pair of shoes is a pair of Clarks. These are just a nice little heeled sandal. They're in really great shape. They got the strap that goes up. I love that little braided detail. And these are size women's seven and a half. I'm not really sure how these will do either because these are not that traditional Clarks style that sells really well. Normally Clarks does better when it's like an outdoor shoe. So we'll have to wait and see how those do. But I just thought they were too cute to leave behind. All right, moving on to jackets and sweaters. First piece I have here is an older anthropology piece. This is Daughters of the Liberation. And this is a size six. And it's just like a nice little um, military jacket. It's got this belt detail right here. Thought that was interesting. It's a nice cargo jacket. Um, I don't think those ever really go out of style. The belt may be a little bit dated, but you can take that off. Then we have a Title IX sweater. This is in a size medium, and it's this magenta color. Title IX does very well for me. It does only sell in that bread and butter range, but it does typically sell very quickly. Normally I find the dresses, I believe this is my first time finding a sweater. And if you guys can't see right here, it does have a tie detail, so it is a little bit dated in that, but I believe what this is intended for is for, like, after a workout, you can tie it up, like, you have your sports bra on, and then you tie this on, like, after a workout, kind of, like, yogi style. Then we have a Madewell piece. This is Madewell, size small, and this sweater is so soft. I could be wrong, but I believe this is the... Kent cardigan, which is one of their most popular cardigans. Oh, I'm noticing they left the center on. Oh no. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get that off. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. That is so annoying that they left that on. Ugh. And this thrift store is like pretty far away, so I don't really want to go back. Then we have an old tag cabbie. I don't typically pick up this rectangular tag. But this was just too cute to leave behind. So it's size large and it's striped. You guys can't see the little buttons have little anchors on there. So anything nautical does pretty well for me. And this is just kind of a classic style. Cabbie people really like the um, kind of preppier sailboat nautical style things I've noticed. Then we have a Prana jacket. This is Prana size small. I believe this is one of their older styles, but I know I've sold this jacket before in kind of like a purple red color, and it did well. Then this is a brand that I am trying out based on Kaylee Elaine's recommendation. Um, she said that it's not going to sell for a lot because it's either a Target or Walmart brand, but that the sell-through rate on it is really good. So this is Knox Rose. I believe it's Target. I'm pretty sure I've seen it in there. There is not a um, size tag, but I would guess it's a large or a medium, probably a large. But I love this embroidery detail. Oh, I'm noticing a flaw. Oh, no. Well, just kidding. There's a huge hole right there that I guess somehow I missed. That's always the worst um, whenever you miss things. You get it home underneath good lighting and you're like, oh my goodness, how in the world did I miss this? 
All right, moving on. This is a sports bra by Victoria's Secret, and I thought it was really cool with the celestial print. This is in a size large, always a good size, and there it says Victoria's Sport. I have a pair of leggings that have this print as well that might be in a size large. I'll have to check, and maybe I'll revise that listing to sell them together as a set. This is Marmot, size extra small, and this is just a nice little color blocked windbreaker. Marmot is an outdoors brand, are we going to guess maybe $35 to $25 on this? Again, I do need to look up comps. Then this is one of my favorite plus size brands to sell, this is Eloquy. This is a heavy blazer, size 22. Very nicely made. And if you guys don't know about Eloquy, they are owned by Walmart is my understanding. But they're sold in stores like Nordstrom. So really great plus size brand. It's like a step above Torrid. Torrid's still kind of considered, in my opinion, kind of cheaper. They have sales all the time. Um, whereas Eloquy is, like I said, sold at Nordstrom, kind of a higher end plus size brand, so you are going to make a little bit more money. Alright, moving on to tops, we have a Burton button down. This is a woman's button down, and it's just plaid. I've never sold Burton before, I know they are like um, known for being an outdoors brand, so I'm not really sure how this will do since it's not like a jacket or anything. I would guess like 15 to 25. And I was excited about this piece. It won't go for anything crazy, but I still get excited for this brand. This is Reformation, and it's just a bodysuit. It's ribbed. I'm guessing um, 25 to 35. I've sold their bodysuits before, and they don't sell for a lot. This is a size medium, but that's always a good staple in your wardrobe. Then we have a Johnny Cash shirt. This is in a size extra small. This will probably only go for about $15, but these typically go really quickly. I've sold a lot of Johnny Cash shirts over my three years of doing this. Alright, I have no idea where this brand is sold. I want to say it's sold at like Steinmart, but I have crazy good luck with it. This is Figueroa and Flower. Sometimes it just says Fig and Flower. And this is in a size medium, but these typically, the sell-through rate on them for me is 100%. And then they typically go within like two weeks maximum. I don't know. People love this. Um, larger sizes do better, but I honestly pick up every size. Larger sizes just typically tend to move a little bit faster. That'll only sell for anywhere from $15 to $25. But since the sell-through rate is so excellent, it doesn't really matter in my opinion. It's worth my time. Alright, next is a Tommy Bahama shirt. I typically don't pick up Tommy Bahama, but I thought this was nice. It's a linen. Be like nice to wear over your aviating suit. And what I really loved is those buttons on the side there. If it doesn't sell, I may even keep this. Size small if I didn't say it. Then we have Meadow Roo, size small. This is Anthropology. And it's just a basic black shirt. Everyone needs a good basic. What I love about it though is in the back there is that Swiss polka dot sheer fabric. You'll see here that I kind of stumbled upon someone's anthropology collection, which I'm most certainly not complaining about. Alright, the next brand I typically send to the real real, but I just thought this piece was really cute, so I'm gonna sell it by myself. This is Rebecca Taylor, and this is her old tag. It's detached on one side, which I will disclose. Some people are pretty particular about that. This is a size 6. And it's just this bright yellow floral blouse. Very pretty. Again, if it doesn't sell, I can send it to the real real. But I have a strong feeling that this will sell. Probably for not anything crazy. When you look at Rebecca Taylor, it retails for so much money. And I personally think the pieces are just gorgeous. It's totally my style. Ultra feminine. Like lacy and ruffly and girly. And then when you look at the resale value, it's just not there. But it will resell. 
All right, next we have a Free People size small top. And I love this lovely, like, bluish gray color. And then the back is really pretty with all of this lace detail. It's a button up. I would say this one actually probably fits true to size. Normally, Free People is super oversized, but that looks like a real small. And I have a scrub top, which I don't typically buy, but I was looking. This is Betsy Johnson. And I just thought it was cute with the hearts. Then we have a Pilcro shirt. So Pilcro is an anthropology brand. I believe they just used to make jeans and like jean skirts, things of that sort, denim I guess I should say. But now they are venturing into clothing. And on the other side it actually says anthropology. This is a size four and I love this gold color the back is really pretty so I'm not sure how that'll do that is a newer anthropology piece my newer I probably mean within like the past five years all right again going to try this brand Knox Rose this one is a size medium there is not a hole in the sun but I thought it was really cute with the tassel detailing in the front. Um, very bohemian. I'm probably only expecting about $15 for it. I'll probably price it uh, starting at $22 and then go from there though. This is Jamie Sadduck. And this brand sells really well on eBay. I don't run into it a lot, but every time I've gotten it, it's sold pretty quickly. About $25 I would say. This is a size small. Then we have Dolan Left Coast. This is their newer tag. Again this is Anthropology. Size small and it's just a basic black top. The front is kind of like a um, kind of a I guess I could say like shimmery. Not shimmery. What am I looking for? It's brighter than the back. It's a different material than the back. So a mixed media. You can see the back is just kind of like a plain cotton. Whereas this is probably like viscose or poly. This next top is cute. This is Anthropology Maeve. Size 2. And are these Boston Terriers or French Bulldogs? What would you say? But novelty prints always do well. I'm always like more inclined to lean towards French Bulldogs because my mom has two French Bulldogs. And so those look just like a French Bulldog. I'll probably use both in the description. I think that one's honestly probably a Boston Terrier. Alright, some more Fig and Flower. This one's a size small. And I've sold this blouse before. They have a lot of the same patterns that you'll see over and over. But people love this. I guess because it's just like a very simple blouse. I've sold this one before as well. This one's in a size large. I literally just sold this last week. It was even missing a button here on the last one that I sold. And it's still sold for $20, I think, within a day. So certainly cannot complain. Moving on to pants. We have Anthropology. New a tag. This is Corey Lynn Coulter. Just a nice red pair of dress pants. I know that Corey Lynn Coulter dresses tend to sell for a higher dollar amount, but I'm not really sure about the pants. But I love this red color. What a statement. Then a pair of Madewell jeans. These are in the style high rise slim crop. Boy jean and they're size 32. You can see down here they're cropped and frayed at the end so I'll probably cut some of that. I don't think it's supposed to be that long but it is supposed to be a little bit frayed. Fantastic size as well. Anthropology 11Zs. Another pair of dress pants. These are in a size 8. They're the Brighton pants. And they have this lace at the top, and then they go into a plaid. So, kind of out of style, but I think you'd still make it work. 
pair of Torah jeans. These are 24 regular and they're just very distressed. And our last pair of pants is a pair of leggings. These are T-Res, size extra small, and they're just stars all over. This brand's a little hit or miss for me, but I thought these were cute. Oh, I didn't even notice when I got these, how exciting it says Peloton on them. Oh my goodness, I just thought they were cute with the stars, but it literally says Peloton, so these should sell, in theory, very well. Anything branded with Peloton does very well, so I'm going to have to definitely look into that, but maybe $50, $60, is that crazy? Alright, dresses, my favorite. This is Neon Buddha. I've never sold this brand, but I've seen other people sell it, and they say that it does pretty well. It's got all of these buttons down here kind of eclectic looking. Now I will say it looks like there are two little holes in the back and it's because my store staples things and so unfortunately that's a thing but they are very small pinholes so I will disclose that. This next piece I've sold before this is Anthropology Mullet Sores. Mullinet Sores? Ooh size 4 and it's just a really nice plaid dress. I believe last time this sold on Mercari. It's cute though. It's fit and flare, button down. Nice little work staple. This is a Revolve brand. It's by the way, size small. It's like reddish orange color. I believe it's supposed to be worn off the shoulder. Nice little like tube dress, ruffle detail. I think that's one of the more inexpensive Revolve brands, so I'm not expecting anything crazy. Alright, so this is Anthropology's Bridal Line, B-L-D-H-N, something like that. This is Hithero, size 16, fantastic size. And this is a very pretty dress. I love the color. It's got tulle. In the back, there's just a little high detail, love the bow, so that's a very, very pretty bridesmaid dress, or you can wear it to the wedding, it's just like, I guess, but I love that. Then we have Athleta, size small petite. Athleta dresses always do very well for me. This one has some ruching on these sides, but people love to wear these dresses just like out and about with some Sneakers, that way they look a little bit more put together, but they're also very comfortable. This one is not going to be fun to steam. This is Anthropology Maeve, size medium, and it's just a blue shift dress. But as you can see, it is very, very wrinkly. That's okay, we'll steam it out. And we have MG, size medium told you guys before I only pick up this when it's cheap and I think it's really cute so I think this is really really pretty with the roses all over it these kind of tunics typically do pretty well for me I sold this dress recently too I don't know why I kept finding all these things that I've already sold before but that makes my life a little bit easier this is Draper James and this is Reese Witherspoon's line very pretty floral dress this one sold on eBay last time, I think. Size small. I've been finding quite a few of her dresses at the thrift store lately, which makes me happy because they normally sell anywhere from like $35 to $50, sometimes a little bit lower if it's an oversaturated style. J. Crew, size 4. I picked this up because I thought it was cute with the little Aztec piping, and then it's just a nice chambray shift dress. It has pockets. You know I love pockets on my dresses. And our very last piece is another anthropology piece. This is anthropology Maeve. This is the one of their newer tags because it says by anthropology. Size large and it's this really nice maxi dress. 
So I'm definitely going to look into this, but typically maxi dresses do get you a little bit more money. So that is everything from my haul. Go ahead and comment down below what's one of your favorite things that you've gotten this week as you've been outsourcing, or this month if you don't source that much. Um, all of my information, again, is linked down below in the description box. Go ahead and tell me that you're from YouTube, and I will give you a fantastic deal. Or follow me on Instagram, and I will be sure to follow you back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. I will see you guys next video.